The Take Our Border Back convoy stopped in Dripping Springs, Texas on Thursday evening for a rally. The Take Our Border Back Convoy's rally in Dripping Springs, Texas, Thursday afternoon was very well attended. Former Republican Alaska Governor Sarah Palin welcomed the crowd and introduced award-winning singer, songwriter, and American patriot Ted Nugent. Make America Like Texas t-shirts and appeal to heaven flags. Over 400 people present. We welcome other people from other countries. But just do it the right way. Even a candidate for Senate in Michigan. Because the border represents a crisis to all of us. So Texas is the Lone Star State. They're not standing alone. Some just traveling through on their way to Eagle Pass, Yuma, Arizona, or San Ysidro, California, to attend the rallies throughout Saturday, February 3rd. Their message is clear. Protect our southern border now. So they had the border wall going, and then, then you know, Biden's administration decided to cut the funding and stop building the border wall. It's our voice. When we have an opportunity to gather together like this, the media is going to pay attention to it, which is great. And we've got to save these kids from, from being trafficked into these horrible situations. On our way out. Your message to the Biden administration. <laughs> uh, say goodbye. <laughs> We're, you won't be in office next year. We need to get by. Now, he needs to retire. Yeah. He makes old people look bad. It's sad. It's sad to see a man put through that. He needs to go to a nursing home. Most importantly, this happened. I'm a military veteran, so I have an internal oath to this country. The, the children, the human trafficking, I have an issue with that. I was a child, you know, uh, sexual victim you know, early on in my childhood, so I understand it. Do you mind if I pray for you really yes, quick? So, Father, I just thank you for this opportunity, oh God, to pray for my brother. The wounds of the past no more, and you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, ma'am. For more information on the convoy, visit TakeOurBorderBack.com. Again, that's TakeOurBorderBack.com. Back to you, Mike. A few earlier, we talked with former New Mexico gubernatorial candidate Mark Ronchetti. I asked him about this response from New York Governor Kathy Hochul regarding who's to blame for the border crisis and the attack of two police officers by illegal immigrants who were arrested, then released without bail. President Biden has said he will shut down the border. He's willing to. He's done everything the Republicans have asked him to do. And now they keep moving the goalpost further and further back because they realize they don't really want to solve this. They like the chaos that it's created. So, Mark, Governor Hochul seems to believe Republicans, not Joe Biden, opened the border wide and put cashless bail in play for New York City criminals. What would you tell her in response to that? It's infuriating, and I don't know how stupid she thinks her own constituents are, but no one is buying this. When Joe Biden came into office, he did three things. He stopped border wall construction. He stopped deportations. And not only those two, and those two are bad enough, but what he's also done at this point is he ended the stay in Mexico policy. So, Mike, those three things have led to an explosion in this country. Joe Biden is solely to blame for this. He does not need a new law to go and send people back to their country of choice and those deportations have to start again and what we started to see here on both sides of the aisle and kathy hochel notwithstanding because that's totally disingenuous but people who actually want to solve the problem realize people are going to have to get pulled back out of this country and sent home if you had said that five years ago no politician on either side would have told you that's going to happen but now mike i think it's going to be the policy of the united states very soon